Hi, my name is Abby Oliver with RPI Consultants, and today we will review how to create a stamp annotation. So log into your management console, select department, go to annotations, and on this drop down, click stamp and new. I'm going to name this one Abby Stamp. Okay, and then highlight it and either double click or select modify. You can add a description here if needed, but it is also okay to leave it blank. And then here's where you will actually enter the text of the stamp. So for this one, I'm going to say that Abby approves. And then if you want to add any sort of uh, dynamic values, you can go to insert. And here's a list of all the available options. So I'm going to add the month, date, and year. And it gives you kind of a little preview below um, of what is included in the stamp. But if you want to customize the appearance of the stamp, just go to the left side here and select appearance. And here's all the options you can um, select to make the stamp exactly how you would like. So I am going to make this more of a rectangle, make the line weight a little bolder, the line color a lighter blue, and the inside color this color blue. You can also change the font and the style. And if you like what you see, um, you can either go ahead and select OK now or take it one step further and select the security for the stamp. So if I only wanted to use the stamp alone, I would add the user here. Click OK. And then here's where you can select the privileges for this user of how they can utilize the stamp. So we'll say that they're able to create it, delete it, hide it, which means you can just hide it away from the documents if it's already on there, but that does not mean that you're deleting the annotation off a document. And modify means that you can actually modify the stamp annotation itself. And then view is obviously just view if, there, if the stamp was applied by anybody else. Okay. And as you can see, that stamp has been created. Thanks for watching.